Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a purple mono lid halo eye. Sometimes I feel like doing a halo eye on mono lid eyes is kind of difficult and not really something you can accomplish with mono lid eyes, but somehow I finessed the system. And so I'm going to show you guys this look right here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell so you don't miss out every time I post. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye. putting up my hair and then I'm gonna do my eyes first like I usually do and I'm gonna use the makeup forever step one skin equalizer base mattifying primer that I always use and I'll just put it right on my lids I haven't been filming recently because my life here has just been crazy I'm gonna like put a video out a story time video explaining everything that's been going on with my roommates or a roommate it's been a wild ride and I got a job so I've been busy doing that so I haven't really had time to film in between sleeping work and school I'm actually observing in a classroom tomorrow at like 9 and I did all my homework for the weekend so I figured I would film. Now I'm just putting the Flower Beauty Concealer on my eyes. And I'm gonna take my um, Wet Beauty Blender and just tap that in. You can see the shadows in the background because my lighting is so bad. Now I'm gonna set my eyes with some Cody Airspun. Again, like I usually do. So I figured I would do kind of like a spring-ish purpley halo eye. And I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill, um, her original palette. I'm not going to take a brown. I'm going to take this like yellowish color. I'm just going to throw this in my crease. Just to make the purples a little easier to transition. I'm going to take her Bling, Bo Bling Boss palette from her Vault collection. And it's all these purples, which is perfect since the look is purple-ish. <laughs> My friend Nicole is on FaceTime with me, like, you can't see her, but she's right there. She also has a YouTube channel. I will link her YouTube down below if you want to go check her out. So I'm going to take this um, color Rockstar on another fluffy brush. It's a BH Cosmetics brush, and I'm just going to put it in the outer corner like that, and then the inner corner. I'm going to try to leave like the center of your lid, like right here, um, empty. Because that's where you're going to put, well that's where I'm going to put some shine. So just like that. Now if we want to make it a little darker, which I do on the outer corner, I'm going to take this color right here. It's like a purplish brown, but it's darker, and it's the Mystic shade. And I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush, and I'm just going to put it on the outer corner. And then the inner corner. I'm going to go back in with that um, first brush that we used, and I'm just going to, with no product on it, I'm just going to try to blend out this purple. The first purple we lay down just to make everything look blended and seamless. I'm going to take her original one and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, this bronzy shade, and I'm going to pack it right on the center of my lid. But first, I'm going to take my little flat brush and I'm going to take the Flower Beauty um, concealer and I'll just put some on the back of my hand like that and then I'm going to put it right in the center 
like that. And then I'll look up kind of like so. And you guys have seen me do this before. It's how I cut my crease, my whole crease when I do a cut crease. So it looks like this, kind of uneven, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll go in with another flat brush. This is a Beauty 360 flat brush that I always use. And again, I'm gonna go in with this um, shade right here, this bronzy shade. Now I'm just packing the shimmer shade right on the center of my lid. I'm doing patting motions instead of like swiping motions, I'm doing patting motions. And this really packs on the color when you do this. Now it looks insane and there's a lot of colors that are not mixed well. So I'm gonna go back into the um, Bling Bling Boss palette. Whew. I'm gonna take that purple again the first purple that, or the second purple, oh no, the first purple that we used, just a little, really tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna try to even out the lines so it doesn't look crazy. It's a little dark, but that's okay, because we'll go back in, or it's not dark enough, but that's okay, because we'll go back in with the other brush that we used and we'll take the deeper brown and darken it up again. Alright so this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to do my liner. I'm going to do that off camera only because it takes me a little while and I really don't feel like waiting around and doing it. Alright so I just did my liner and now I'm back to do my um, mascara. I know I tell you guys all the time that I only do this to keep the powder out of my eyelashes because they honestly go straight down and really like this step does not affect my eyelashes whatsoever but just to make everything tie everything together I'm gonna take my makeup wipe and I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes like this and I'm gonna wipe some of the fallout from under my eyes. For primer, I'm going to do the Max Stroke Cream. This is a little tester thing that I got at um, Ulta. I only use a little. I, you literally can't see because of how messed up my lighting is. But I only use a little because a little goes a long way. And I hate this primer low-key because it smells like shit. Like, it smells like chemicals. Does not smell good. But it does make my skin glow within. So, can't complain about that. I am a little tan, tanner than I was before, because my mom and I went to Florida for my spring break. So, I'm gonna use my tan foundation. Use my Tarte Clay Stick Foundation in the shade Tan Sand. And I have like this and I have another tan foundation but it's Milani and it's like real dark like I'm telling you real dark and this is the Morphe Y6 that they just discontinued and I think it's like their new one is like why it's like the same one but I think it's called like Y7 or something like that I don't know but I'm happy I got I'm happy I got this while I can because it's one of my favorite brushes to use for foundation. I'm usually more of um, a beauty blender girl for foundation, but using sticks that are kind of hard to blend out, using a brush really is better. And then since I used a brush, I'm going to go back with my sponge, the butt of my sponge, and I'm just going to tap everything in just to really make sure it's in my skin and as you can see I'm a little bit dewy and I swear it's because of the MAC strobe that I use but it's nice 
I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium Dark. I think I told you guys that this shade was kind of dark for me. Or like too pink for me a while back when I first got it. But now that I'm kind of tan, it fits perfectly. And the coverage is incredible. But again, I think a lighter color will be better in the future. But now I know. I'm gonna take the Flower Beauty one concealer. And this is obviously the lighter concealer. And I'm just gonna put it down the bridge of my nose. Since I have a flat nose, a nice Asian nose, I like to contour it, obviously, to make it not look as flat. And to do that illusion, I use a lighter concealer. Now I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender again, and I'm just gonna tap all this in. On the nose. The nose, you really wanna be gentle when you tap it out, cause you don't want, you don't want the concealer to bring up the foundation. You really just want it to blend. I look like really moist. <laughs> like I hate that word. <laughs> But I look so moist right now. Like my whole out face looks moist. I'm like not. I mean, I love it, but I don't at the same time. I'm gonna take my Cody Airspun powder and I'm just gonna put a little just to set my under eye. Tap it in all the areas that you just put that concealer down. And it just sets it. To set my nose is a completely different story. And I'm actually, I haven't pulled this bad boy out in a long time, but it's the Shade and Light Kat Von D um, thing, whatever. And obviously I've hit pan in the two center ones. But I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics brush, it's kind of thin, and I'm gonna hit the middle shade, which is like a banana color shade, and then the lighter shade. And I'm just gonna hit my nose with it a little. And then I'll just take the brush that I did my under eye with and hit my forehead. I'm gonna contour my nose. And I have this like angled brush. I don't know if you can see. No, of course you can't see because my lighting sucks. It's angled. Now for actual contouring, I'm going to take this Luxie 620 brush, or 660 brush, and I'm just going to hit my, the hollows in my cheeks, and I'll bring it up a little like right here. To carve out my cheekbones, I'm going to take a wet Morphe sponge and some of my Cody Airspun powder, and I'm going to take the flat side and just dip it in. And I'm gonna hit it like this. I'll just wait on that, and while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna do my brows. And I'm gonna do my brows again off camera because I already made a video of how I do my brows, and I'll link that also down below. Now that I got my brows on, I'm going to take a flat brush that looks like this, and I'm gonna hit my brow bone with my highlighter, my Laura Geller highlighter that I always use. Okay, now I'm going to wipe off my big. I'm going to take this Morphe M530 brush and my Note blush and I'm just going to put it all over my cheekbones, but I'm going to take it higher just like my highlight. When I do my highlight, I'm gonna put it up on my cheekbones because that makes your face look super lifted. I'm gonna take my Morphe 441 brush, this fluffy brush, and I'm gonna go back in with the Laura Geller highlight. And I'm just gonna put it right down my cheeks and I'm gonna bring it down here and kind of like put it in my under eye area. So I'm going to go in with this the Vintage Cosmetics Company Step 1 brush. 
looks like this with the Boss Bling palette. And I'm gonna take this color right here that we used and I'm just gonna drag it down. I'm gonna go back in with my liner brush and my gel liner and I'm just gonna line my eyes. All right, now that I lined my under eye, it kind of looks a bit crazy, but I'm going to take the other Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette from the Vault Collection, and I'm gonna take the black, like I usually do, on a flat, um, flat brush. Ooh, couldn't find my words. And I'm just gonna stamp the black liner with this black shadow. I would honestly spray my face, but since I don't have any spray, I'm just gonna move on to my lip and then that's gonna finish this look. I'm gonna take La Lady from ColourPop and I'm just gonna kinda line my, kinda line my outer lips with this color. And then I'm gonna take a Appy, Appy from ColourPop and it's this more nude color. And I'll hit that right in the center my lips and I use this Milani moisture lock gloss it looks like this and the applicator is kind of odd and like big but I'm gonna throw some of that on in the center hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share like subscribe and turn on that post notification bell and I hope you enjoyed this springy halo eye monolid look um yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.